Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim in the name of Allah the most beneficent and the most merciful guys as i already told you that i am solving the question of the past paper ap calculus 2018 we already solved the question number 1 to question number uh, 14 now we move on to question number 15 right in question number 15 a figure is given right this is the semicircle and this is the triangle right the coordinate here is 32 here this is two okay one semi uh, semi circle one triangle is given and the question is this is the graph of derivative this is not the function here it's mentioned this is the graph of what derivative this derivative is given right okay the question is the graph of the derivative uh, this is the derivative of g okay this is derivative and there is a g right so g consist of a semi circle of the radius and two line segments as shown in the figure above right so this is what the graph of g prime x so there is a g i don't know where is the g we will find out here the condition is given if g0 is equal to 1 if g0 is equal to 1 if g0 is equal to 1 what is the value of g3 we have to find we have to find g3 right g1 g0 is equal to 1 one value is given mean when x is there is a gx i don't know where is gx we will we will think about it so where i will just put it zero we can find it one and when i will put in in function g x is equal to 3 we have to find what the values so how will i find this value so this is very very simple question guys i am going to solve it you know i am going to solve here answer okay see you know for example i'm going to explain you first here you know if if i'm going to give you x dx right right this is a question x dx okay so if i say x dx so that what is the answer here x square by 2 plus c right so we can say if if this is our function for example this is our function okay for example if i say fx which is x square by 2 for example so what is the derivative so what is the derivative of this function so we can say this is 2x this this cancel the answer is what x right and here we can get this one x so this is what a derivative so this means this derivative is given and this means a function fx is given right very simple so this is what the derivative and whatever the we we got the answer of the integration that is what the functions right okay and this is what this is uh, indefinite integral right where we can find our function now we will talk about in uh, definite integration for example if i give anything like 0 to 3 right so this 0 to 3 it means this is going to give us the specific result that is what area yes or no clear so i am going to solve this question i am going to solve this question and do you remember there is a first fundamental theorem of calculus that if you have for example gx for example here is gx i am going to take this one right so if this is gx right and this is what a and this is b dx so this means after gx okay we will find the you can say the function right which is gx right and this gx is what we will say gx this is b and this is what a so that it will give us a specific result which is gb minus ga this is uh, you can say the first fundamental theorem of integral yes or no so using this one we are going to solve this question right so here we can say the lower limit is what uh, ah here we have two values right g0 equal to 1 and g3 we have to ask so we we know that this is the value of x this one and this one means from 0 to 3 So can I write this one? Can I say this is what zero, and this is what three, and this is what g x, or you can say g prime x, d x, which is equal to what g three minus g zero, and it will give us a specific what a specific result, and which will be our area, right? Okay, so here if we say zero to three g prime x dx, which is given here, right? This is given here. See, g of prime x is given here, right? So can you tell me from zero to two means we have to find this area? 
this area and two, 0 to 3 means this is 3 only so we can say here we want this area only means half of this semicircle and half of this triangle so you know this is semicircle what is the formula for the semicircle here I am going to solve I am going to raise this part first Okay, you can see here, this is semicircle. How will you find the area of the semicircle? Very simple. A, A is equal to pi r square and just divided by 2 so that we can find the area of the semicircle, right? The area of the semicircle means this one and this one, right? So this is what? 1 by 2, this is pi and r is how much? What is the radius? Which is 2, right? So we can say 2 whole square. So it will be what? 4 pi divided by 2, right? So it means you can say 2 pi. But I don't want this two area. I want only this area, right? Only the half part. Because this part and this part are equal. So again, I'm going to divide by 2. So we have pi. So we can say the area here is pi and here area is pi, right? So this pi, this pi. I'm not going to take this one because we, our limit is start from 0 to 3. 0 to 2, the area is how much pi? So here we can say one area is how much pi? Plus, now we need this one, the half of this triangle. So how will you find the area of the triangle? 1 over 2 into base into height, right? So 1 over 2, base is how much? This is 1 unit, this is 1 unit, means 1, 1, 2. And height is how much? This is already given 2. So 2, 2 cancel, this area is how much? 2, 2 unit square, for example. A square is the, you know, the area of a uh, triangle, right? So here, this is what? 2, so half is how much? Uh, divided by 2 which is 1 so we can say this is 1 uh, unit square this is also 1 unit square I'm not going to take this one I'm going to take this one so this is pi this is 1 so pi plus 1 this is the complete solution of this part only and g3 we have to find g3 right so just g3 is g3 and g0 is already given which is 1 so you can solve this equation minus 1 uh, shifted on the left side so we have pi plus 1 plus 1 is equal to what g3 so we can say g3 is equal to pi 1 plus 1 is 2 so the answer is the answer is pi plus 2 my marker is finished so the answer is pi plus 2 so this answer the answer is b here so you can say pi plus 2 is the right answer I hope guys you all understand, if you have a problem you can just write down the comment, whenever we have a time we will just uh, explain it. Assalamu alaikum, bye bye.